I was in the Vietnam in 68, 69. I got injured over there and, and had back injury. It would just immobilize me. Sometimes make me sick, you know, the stomach, the pain was so bad and I couldn't do anything. In this procedure that we have done in the past, the facet injections, we actually take a small amount of steroid and local anesthetic and place it very close to the joint in the back. And by taking a very small amount, we can actually limit the amount of pain relief we get to just that joint. This helps us pinpoint exactly where the pain is coming from and also helps determine if a radiofrequency ablation would be helpful for this patient. We don't want to use a very large amount, but a lot of times just the injections themselves can last for months at a time, three to four to sometimes up to six months. And then at that point, if the patient would like it repeated, usually we want to do at least two injections prior to scheduling the patient for radiofrequency ablation to make sure that our results of pain relief are repeatable and are actually because the pain is coming from that joint. I've had, I think, three or four treatments before this, and they all help, but not as well as the last one did. I mean, I was a young kid again. <laughs> I'm 65 years old, and I'm doing things that 23-year-olds are doing again, you know, fishing, swimming, you know. It's, it's just been, a, I call it a godsend. <laughs> well, the wife, she just, I can't believe it, you know, I can help her out and take trash out for her <laughs> instance. <laughs> she doesn't have to do everything. It is very rewarding to see patients have decreased pain over time. It provides me with a lot of personal satisfaction and it keeps me very enthusiastic about my field. I enjoy reading about new treatments and keeping up to date on the most recent literature and investigations on pain because I do want to help my patients as much as possible. She's wonderful. She's a wonderful doctor. She's caring and so precise you can really you know I've seen a lot of doctors in my lifetime and, and, and she ranks among the best in my book so I just like everybody to know that <laughs> there are options out there for to get rid of that pain I mean we can't even bend over and you know put your own shoes on or pull your socks up or or go swimming or dancing or just go out for a walk and enjoy life for a change, it's, it's wonderful.